Okay, parents, hello again. Here's a quick tutorial on the kindergarten paper, as we call this double-lined paper. Uh, our kindergarten paper, we do kindergarten writing. So, as you'll recall, that means your name is written with one uppercase letter at the start, and the rest are lowercase. So, um, on this paper, you should have the handwriting without tears crayon, the little short white um, I'm sorry, pencil, not crayon, um, which discourages a child from being able to do this grip. Um, it's okay right now if they're kind of doing this grip, try to rotate the hand out like we do with scissors. Um, if, if they're doing a tripod grasp, um, if it looks awkward right now, it's okay. It just means continue to give opportunities to build muscle strength. Um, doesn't happen overnight. Um, the adult like grasp might be emerging but if they have extra fingers on there and they're controlling the pencil well don't force it um, because it will just take longer they'll fight you on um, the grip it's really a matter of muscle development um, rather than trying to force the position so the position will come into place as their muscle development improves so we start at the top, just like the song, review on the website. Where do you start your letters? At the top. And we start on the left-hand side and right towards the right. So that's something that's not inborn in children. We need to teach it, and they will learn with much repetition. So we start at the top line. A lot of kids haven't seen this paper or haven't used it, and they want to write in here in between these. I don't know if it's faint, but there's a dotted line in between. You probably use this paper in school as well. Um, so we need to encourage them to write from solid blue line to solid blue line. And as we practice the lowercase letters, you can reinforce for them daily that, well, the middle line is there to show us where to begin the lowercase letters. So I'm just going to use Mrs. Clark as an example. You guys use your name tags that you have at home. Big line down, little line down to the middle, up, and big line down. There's my M for Mrs. for Mrs. Clark. The little lowercase letters start at this middle line. So it's important that your child has been practicing the vocabulary of top and bottom and middle and that will help you. If they don't have it yet, just continue to work those vocabulary activities into their playtime. Again, it won't happen overnight. Sorry for the shaky camera, guys. I'm always trying to video and do something for you at the same time. Okay, next I'm doing my letter R, and I'm using that middle line, little lowercase s, curve and curve. Okay, so in teachers' names and grown-ups' names, if you say Mr. or Mrs., there's a dot, okay? And we'll talk about periods and the ends of sentences down the road. That comes in preschool a little later on. So Clark, k k k Clark. What does it sound like? Cookie, cookie, C, k k. Yeah, so starting my letters at the top, I use my whole space from the top line to the bottom line. There's my letter C for Clark lowercase l, little lowercase a, say these with me if you know them, little lowercase r, and little lowercase k. So parents down the road you'll get into the discussion of, oh well some lowercase letters don't follow the rule. And they do start at the top line and take up all that space, but then the rest of the letter uses that half space. So that's a discussion you'll have as they go into kindergarten, even on to first grade, as they learn to plan their spacing and plan um, motor planning for their writing skills. So that is how we use the kindergarten paper. Friends, if you are ready to look at your name tag and then copy it onto paper, try the kindergarten paper. Adults, Please supervise this very closely. This isn't something that you want them to have free reign all over the house whenever because if they learn this the wrong way, it's really hard to undo by the time you enter kindergarten. Um, so just 
use this as a practice time when you are there to be their teacher. You can write it for them, write their first name for them as a good model so that they don't have to look over here at the name tag, transfer over here for writing, look back at the name tag, back and forth. You can write it on the top line and then watch the grip, watch the formation of the letters and have them practice on this next line like I'm doing. Now I'm the kiddo. Okay, and if I start getting messy, guess what? I get a speeding ticket because I went too fast. So take your time, it's not a race. You'll hear that a lot at preschool so that you can plan to do your very best work, okay? And then we'll do it again and again. Parents, we don't wanna make this drill and kill too much. If your child's hand is fatiguing, put it away for another day. Um, if they are becoming bored, put it away and set a timer and say, we'll look at this one more time before bed. Okay, and then you don't need to look at it again today. And try to get some uh, willingness to revisit hard things, because that's how we learn, is we have to be willing to go back and try something hard or something that wasn't our favorite one more time. So I would not have a child, even if they love this type of activity and they're very adept at it, I would not have them write more than one page down in a given day. You don't want to turn them off to these activities, especially small motor activities for four-year-olds can feel very fatiguing. Just like Little Green Book, take a break, shake it out, wiggle, wiggle. Okay, I'm ready to start again. If you have a feeling like writer's cramp, that's what that muscle fatigue feels like, and you don't want to keep writing. So we don't want to turn them off to an important piece of our learning. It's better to put it away and revisit it later or revisit it another day. And that keeps us being encouraged to keep trying. Okay, so if you're ready to delve into the kindergarten paper, let me know, send me a photo, and you could do a page a day practice as your child is ready. If you are still in the name tag tracing stage with a wipe off marker, then that is what you should be doing. Don't jump to this just because it sounds cool to go more advanced. If your child is not ready, that is what school is for. If you're not ready, you're not ready, but we can do things to get ready. String beads, squeeze Play-Doh, cut with scissors. It makes our muscles stronger and then we become ready to do more of this kind of school activity. Okay, very good. Let me know how it goes. Got Again, photos, 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 please. That's how Mrs. Clark documents your progress. That's like a report card in the other grades. Gotta have those photos. Thanks a bunch for learning with us. See you soon. Bye-bye.